Garnier Olea oil powered permanent color, no ammonia. It says here, 100% gray coverage. So I got it. I'm going to test it for you guys, show you how I applied it. And does it work or are they lying to us? Huh? Let's roll on over to that video right now. So the best time to color your hair is when your hair is really dirty. Mine's really dirty. You can see that shine coming off the light right there. That is actually oil. So I want to show you my grays and I hope you can see them because my hair is so shiny because it's so dirty, but I have a lot of grays here. So we're going to see if it will color the grays or not. Yeah. So it's so shiny. I think the grays kind of blend in with my grease, <laughs> my oil on my scalp, but I think you can get the gist of how many grays I actually have, which I do have a good amount of gray, especially when I pull my hair back, you can see them right here and you can see them right there. That's what I hate the most, but let's see if this color works or not. Okay, so I think even at that angle, and yeah, I'm in my bra, so if you see my bra, don't freak out. Yes, I'm a full-figured woman. I might freak you out or gross you out, but that's my body and I own it. So uh, a lot of times if I color my hair, I'll either, either have a cape, I couldn't find my cape, or I'll just wear a dirty shirt, a black torn up shirt, which I couldn't find. So I'm like, screw it, I'll just put my bra on, okay? And it's black, but look, see, so you can see all my gray hair and it's quite a bit and it's quite grown out because the last freaking box color I tried totally sucked, like massively sucked. So we're gonna do it. Garnier Ola, Olia, Olia. <laughs> Oil powered permanent color, no ammonia. It says it's 60% oils. Okay, so I'm like 60% oils? Kind of like, huh? What the? Okay, some of these colors, they kind of like, um, they really boggle me because like I did hair for so many years and I'm like 60% oils. What, what, what is this stuff? Okay, it says it's ODS oil drive system up to three times more shine. Okay, we know how shiny my hair can get when you saw all that <laughs> that grease, no, no, that oil that I produce on my scalp. Um, it says it uh, propels color deep, visibly healthy hair, brilliant, long lasting. This is the 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 the, the, the one that caught me. One hundred percent gray coverage. <laughs> really, really. <laughs> uh, preserves hair strength. No silicones, no paraffins, and a vegan formula. So I got here in the color 4.0, dark brown. We're just going to do it, right? 100% gray coverage. Well, uh, I haven't tried this one, and it hasn't met my grays yet, but my grays, my gray hair are extremely resistant. Let me take you down just a little bit. Sorry, got a little upper, upper body action going on. <laughs> Anyways, when I tell you resistant, I'm actually going to show you how I put the color in. Um, I have to um, rough up my cuticle, and a lot of hairdressers will do this, okay? And this is just a tip for you guys coloring your hair at home, and it comes with these black gloves. They're not fitted. That's fine. Whatever. Um, you'll actually rough it up in the hair, and when you rough it up in the hair, what it does, it opens that cuticle so that color penetrates, when you have resistant color and you're you're going to a salon, you get a double pigmented color. It means like I would get a 4NN, so it has a double pigment to make sure that it co covers those gray. If you don't have that, you just rough it up. You're like <laughs> opening up that cuticle so the color will absorb. So let's go ahead and try it because it says 100% gray coverage and it did not say that it was a double pigment. So I would think this is pretty self-explanatory. You have the color the um, activating ingredient, which is peroxide. And then it says an after color conditioner. So let's do it and do it and do it again. I'm not getting high on the peroxide, but that don't smell like no peroxide. That smells like a conditioner, honestly. Wait, it's not supposed to have peroxide, no ammonia. Okay, let me go pop it, pop it, drop it, polka dot it, whatever it is. I don't know where, where my brain is today, but I like to, I have like all these songs in my head. Okay, well, I will say, look at this. It is a very, look at that, very runny formula. Okay, okay, okay. 
I have the door closed behind me, as you can see. So if I'm dying, like, <coughs> I can't breathe. I will let you know. Ventilation is always a good thing. I just, oh, snappity snap. I spilt a little tiny bit on the counter. Ventilation's a good thing. And wow, that's oxidizing super quick. Let me show you. Okay, no, not the best lighting right there, but you can see, look. Focus camera. There we go. You see, it's already turning color. It hasn't even touched the um, peroxide. You can see in there, it's already turning color. I had to wipe that up real quick because obviously my counters are white and I don't want to stain. So it has the little twist off lid, which is really nice actually, instead of putting your finger in some of it coming out. So we're going to shake, shake it, shake your booty. Mm -hmm. Shake your boat, shake your bottle. <laughs> okay, let's shake it up. And since it was already like oxidizing super quick, it's like you're going to have to shake this up, put it on immediately. Don't let it sit there. And it's, yeah, you can tell it's already turning colors because it's not like this bright white anymore. Okay, let's take off the top. I'm taking off my top. <laughs> Just joking. If your mind went there. Well, my top's already off. What am I talking about? <laughs> okay, so what I do is I do the hairline first. Let's go ahead and just... My crown, the crown of color, and then all the way down. Now, since I do not have eyes in the back of my head, I'm gonna show you guys super quick how I get how I color my hair. Even though you're probably like, I don't want to watch how you color your hair. Everybody knows how to put color in their hair. Okay, well, first you have to get your whole hairline, so you go around the back, around your ear, the whole shebang, bang, bang, bang. Because she bangs and she bangs. Mm -mm. You remember that, that song by Ricky Martin? Anyways, go ahead and work it in, right? We want to make sure we get that whole, because of your whole hairline, because um, when you pick up your hair, a lot of people wear it in ponytails. You don't want to spots, spots that are showing gray or just uneven. Okay, so typically you make a section down the middle. You make the section down the side, but I'm too lazy for that. So I just, actually, I don't even make the section. I just kind of do this. Check it out. I'm like, whoo, straight line all the way back. And then we're going to continue and they are going to be pretty close together, probably a uh, half an inch or closer together because um, I, in a salon, I will do uh, closer sections, but a lot of times these box colors don't come with as much product as you would hope, at least for my hair. I have a lot of hair, um, so I kind of get them close together, just not super close together. And then if I have more product left over, I will go and get those lines closer together than what they are. So what I'm doing, you can see I'm just like running all the way back to the, my, the back of my neck and just pushing these lines through. Now, a lot of people pick up their hair like this. Okay, just keep this in mind. You pick up your hair like this, right? These, this is a very important section to get because a lot of people will miss this. So make sure that you just take it and push it in there all the way down. And I got it. And now this is the trick. I'm gonna rough up my cuticle. So I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna give myself a head massage. And you're gonna be like, I should do this every month because it's so relaxing. Oh, <laughs> this is why a lot of people actually go to their hairdressers because it is so relaxing getting your hair done. And who doesn't like a little head massage? Head massage. Okay, so all I'm doing is really going back and forth, almost like it was shampoo. You can see I left it on my roots do not do not let me repeat do not take it all the way to the ends of the hair if you are just uh trying to get your roots covered like i am a lot of people will put this all over their hair and that is not a good thing because we do not want to damage the hair okay so is it covering all the gray that has grown out yeah pretty much look at that i think i should put a little bit more because i saw one or two that could use a little bit more and I want to make sure that these lines are a little closer together. So we're going to just go repeat. And I am going to double down on this hairline. Do not use your finger nails. I forgot to say that. And the reason that I'm coloring my hair uh, now it's because my hair is so dirty. When your hair is so dirty, oh, like those oils and stuff, they kind of put a coating on your scalp to protect your scalp from I any irritation that the peroxide may cause. Because I don't know if you guys know, peroxide can actually burn your scalp. 
it can give you burns on your head. So, see? Just gonna boom, 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 boom. Rough up that cuticle. Get that gray in there. Get that gray coverage covered. Okay, I should have read the directions. Let's read the directions real quick. Mm. Put gloves on. Check one. <laughs> uh, we did everything I said to do. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, it says uh, roots start uh, with dry hair. Okay, so this is a total of 30 minutes, which is fantastic because some of these colors are like, it will do it after like five minutes, which is so BS. Okay, so this says uh, put it on your roots for 20 minutes. I kind of set my 20 minute timer. Hold on one second. Open the door with my foot here. Alexa, set a 20 minute timer. We're going to do 20 minutes on the roots. And this is what I do with any color, guys. Like at the very, very last five minutes of the uh, color, uh, I pull it all the way down through through my ends just to give myself like a even color. So this actually says 20 minutes on the roots and then you do 10 minutes uh, throughout the rest of the hair. Personally, I like to spritz the end of my hair because uh, it will dilute this formula a little bit and it will just give like more of a natural look. Instead of one total flat, color you're gonna have it like from the roots being covered a little bit darker going down to the ends that are naturally a little bit lighter so but it's just gonna give a hint of color there um but that's just my ends as you can see because my ends are a little bit lighter you can see that so it does say after the 20 minutes we're gonna do 10 more minutes and pull it through it says literally after 20 minutes use remaining color mixture to saturate length and ends okay Additional 10 minutes, so a total of 30 minutes. And then we will be back. But you know what? Like, this is freaking awesome. Like, I'm smelling my hands. It doesn't smell like nothing but conditioner, like a like a light perfumed conditioner. And my door was closed, and I am good. I am good. Okay, oh, actually, you know what? My bad. I'm going to take, so I'm going to continue to rough it up like this every now and then. But I'm actually going to take some of this. And I'm going to shape out my eyebrows because, um, you know, when you're like in your 20s, like I am. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm actually 45 and I get gray in my eyebrows. Okay. Yeah. Actually, let me say, I get gray in my eyebrows. And you don't want to tweeze those eyebrows because that gray is not going to, that hair is not going to grow back. And you're going to have like super thin eyebrows. And thin eyebrows are just not in. Okay. Let me just repeat that. Thin eyebrows are not in. Thick, beautiful, fluffy eyebrows are in. So in my drawer here, I always have this angled brush and all I'm gonna do is just take some of this color and I'm gonna shape out my brows. Okay, do you see this? This will be your best friend for the rest of your life. And why am I saying that? Because you see all this color that I got on my forehead, right? So I got color here, I got color there. And a lot of times when you color your hair, it will stain. Well, this is the trick. This is why this is going to be your best friend. So what you're going to do is you're going to take some of this, right? And you're going to get a Q-tip and you're going to cut out your hairline, not touching the actual color itself. When I say not touching the color, because if you touch the color with this bad boy, uh, it will stop um, depositing color. It'll stop working, right? So what you take, you take this uh, Dawn dishwashing soap and you just touch it onto the skin and you cut out that hairline so it looks very, very natural. And your skin will not be stained. 110% it will not be stained. And I'm going to show you guys that because you can see it's already staining my skin. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut out all of my hairline. Make it look more natural instead of like I have all this weird line of color. And then I'll after I get out of the shower, I'm going to show you guys. It's going to be amazing. Okay, so the 20 minute timer just went off. I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the hair and then we're going to pull off. We're going to take off these eyebrows because I don't want my eyebrows to be too, too dark. So I have a water bottle here. Now, remember, this is completely optional, but I like how uh, the, a hair. I like how hair looks like when it looks. I like how hair looks when it's more natural looking. And so I'm just going to kind of spritz down these ends here. And I also personally know from reviewing tons of box colors, what's left in here is not enough for my hair. So uh, if you spritz it down, yes, it dilutes it. Yes, it's going to put just a, a tint of color throughout the whole ends in the middle. 
um, but it's going to distribute it. It's going to distribute the color like more evenly and easily because the hair's already damp versus if I put it in completely dry hair here, um, it's gonna absorb and not flow as evenly through the rest of the hair. So we do not want soaking wet. We just want a nice, good, damp amount of water. Oh, hair in the, water in the hair. Okay, so there we go. We are damp. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take it like this and I'm going to kind of just spread it and then we're gonna go in like it's a shampoo and kind of just put it up here. Put it more at the top of the hair right here um, because of what I do, and this is completely optional and I would not recommend this if you have a uh, thin hair. Uh, I get a comb, a wide tooth comb, and I start brushing this through the hair to kind of just bring out, bring the whole color down to the ends because you can see it's not really gonna touch. There's a the color and there's a dry end. So that's just my recommendation. Uh, as a professional hairdresser, I know it's not the best thing to do because you don't really wanna put tension on the hair when there is a chemical. Uh, it doesn't bother me because I have a lot of hair and I've done it for years. If I was really thin, then I would not do it. So I'm just gonna, you can see, I'm just kind of like pushing it in, in, in. Now I only have barely any left in the bottle. Oh no, I have a good amount, but I can see it's getting to the end there. So before I get all the way to the end, I'm gonna get the brush and I'm gonna comb it through. Now it's better not to do it like this, right? What's best to do is to grab your ends and pull those knots out first. So we're putting less tension in case you do have knots and you probably will have knots and then work it up. I'm gonna do this through the whole hair, I'll be right back. Okay, so I've combed it all the way through, right? So you can see how it, it more evenly distributed. I'm gonna put it on the ends now. Now, before I started combing it through, I already did set that 10 minute timer so you guys know that I'm not gonna go over time because I like to review products on the exact time that it says See, look, now it's all the, it can go all the way through to the ends because I've pulled that color all the way through on damp hair, dang it. Oh, one thing I will have to mention is that um, at the beginning, you don't smell anything, but uh, at the very last few minutes of that 20 minutes, um, you do start to smell it. It gets more strong. I don't, it's not unbearable, nothing like a regular color, but it, it does get stronger. And I just also might be, uh, noticing it a whole lot more than normal because right now I have bronchitis and so my uh, smells are a little bit more irritated by things, fragrances, odors, chemicals. Okay, uh, and then I'm gonna shower. At, oh, you know what? Let's take off the eyebrows real quick so you guys can see them. Let's not, tr okay, so let's not try to remove color on the eyes, above the eyes, on the eyebrows with anything like sopping wet because you don't want the color to get into your eyes. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna wipe it off like this with a dry. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with just some baby wipes. You can also get like a towel and just dampen it, a rag, whatever. And I'm just gonna wipe off the color this way because you don't wanna take any chances that it get into your eye. Wow, look at that. You can see most all of it already came off. It's like a uh, a chocolate brown, as you can see. It's not like a deep, deep, dark, dark brown. It's more like a, a milk chocolate brown on my brow. So I'm kind of wondering what this is gonna look like. I forgot to tell you guys one tip. So you see I combed the hair color through. This is kind of important. You kind of need to go in there and lift it back up off your scalp because what you really want this thing to do is hit the air and work. You don't wanna just compact it where it's all pressured together and it's not really uh, developing like it should. So you should do that. Just don't keep the hair flat on the head. Let it come back up like this. 
and I think I have like five more minutes, so I'll see you guys once I get out of the shower. The one thing that I will say is they should mass produce this conditioner. Look how small this conditioner is and how thin it is. And it was like probably one of the best conditioners I've ever put on my hair. I mean, like instantly I had no knots and it was silky and soft and it's amazing. Okay, so I haven't even seen my hair. I don't know, but I just want to pull up the sides here and admire the hairline that there is not one bit of color anywhere on my head on my face right because of the dawn dishwashing soap so let's go ahead and pull the hair down and see together what it looks like you see that just so soft Well, oh, I see one gray. You see it right there, don't you? I see it right there. I'm going to give my, it the benefit of the doubt and say maybe accidentally touched it with the Dawn dishwashing soap. Let me look in the mirror really close. Well, actually, you know what? Let's look together right here. And then I'll look in the mirror really close up. I see. Is that... I gotta look in the mirror, guys. Hold on, I'll be back. This is why I love to test out box colors for you guys. Um, I am gonna say, you know my hair is wet, so it's really hard to see the gray, but it did not cover 100% of my gray. Mind you, you see more of your gray when your hair is dry and mine is wet, but I am already seeing, can you see? These uh, pieces of gray. Now, I'm not saying that it didn't cover all of, uh, a lot of my gray, how much, I don't know, we have to let the hair dry, but I know for a fact it did not cover all the gray. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let my hair naturally dry since my daughter wants to go to the movies. I'm gonna let it naturally dry, come back and show you guys what it looks like. Good morning, uh, I, we actually didn't go to the movies because I wasn't feeling too good and I passed out and fell asleep. So this is the next day in the morning. And I just wanna just, I would just wanna mention something before we zoom into the grays. I purchased, a 4.0 dark brown. I didn't purchase a three. I didn't purchase a two. I didn't purchase a one that is black. I followed the directions step by step and my hair is jet black. Okay, I'm sorry, I'll take it back. Maybe not jet black. My hair is black. It's black. I have done box colors for a long time, reviewed them the whole bit, this is black and I hate black because at this age, if you're not black and you go black, it can age you and it can make everything more vivid. It can, it can accentuate your wrinkles, things like that. Your makeup, because it's such a contrast, black and fair skin. Like, it, let, me, let me show you. Oh, this even tinted a little bit, you know? So remember how light that was when I put it against there? Look at that freaking black so when it comes to the grays I know you can still see them and it's interesting because yeah a lot of them covered did a hundred percent cover no and the ones that didn't cover have this really weird funky color on them it's almost can you see that I know you can see those grays right here it's almost like they turned like a, a yellowish tint <laughs> So uh, let's go ahead and just straighten this hair and see if you can see them more with it straight. I don't know. I'm actually in the direct sunlight and I thought I would show you the color and see if you can see all those grays I was talking about real quick before I go into Ross. Let's see, let's face this way. You might not be able to see them because my hair is straight. But I'll point them out in this picture. But at least you get to see what the color looks like. Okay, freshly baked lies. It says 100% gray coverage. Really, really? Let's just zoom in and show you what this looks like. And I mind you, I only washed it once since I saw you guys last when I was like trying to get the, the my show you my gray outside. Only washed it once and check this out. 
Don't tell me that you can't see all this lighter hair right here, right? Don't tell me that you can't see all my gray hair. You see the, how they're, some of them are a little bit more wiry? Don't tell me that that's not gray. Now, some people might go, oh my gosh, Christina, but the color looks so amazing. Like it's all over even. Well, keep this in mind, okay? Let me take you down a little bit. Keep this in mind. We diluted it with water and I barely had it on my ends for how many minutes? And look how much darker everything is. Now, outside, it does look like the darkest, darkest, darkest brown. But I swear to you, when I am not in direct, direct sunlight, this looks like a very light black. Yes, very light black. And I got 4.0. And you cannot tell me that you don't see those stupid grays glistening off the light. Yes, like... I'm like, what? Uh, of course, I didn't have as many grays on this side, but I have some, as you can see right there. Freshly baked lies. Uh, consumers, beware. If you are a woman like me uh, and you have gray hair, I am 45 years old. I know that my grays are resistant. The fact that I kind of like, tsh, I like scrubbed it in there on my, roughing up that cuticle, I actually gave it a fighting chance. Did it work? No, it did not. Did it smell bad? Was it the formula uh, good for not smelling bad? <laughs> yeah, it was. It's easy to work with. Uh, the conditioner was great, but did the formula work? If you have no gray, then you might love it. If you have gray hair, ha -ha, you could just be like, oh, gone, not using it. I saw this video and I'm not even going to do that because I don't want my grays looking funky. Some of them have this weird tint on them. It's almost like yellow <laughs> or gold, uh, some of them. But they're still overall gray. So you know what, Garnier, where'd you go? What we're going to do when we see you, we're just going to go in the trash can. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you love this review. I love you. God loves you. Remember that. Be the best you can be. You know what? We, everybody struggles, especially with inflation and all this crap that's going on in the world. Like everybody struggles emotionally. And you know what? Finances put strain on any marriage or relationship or a person or what, whoever you are, or an alien, whatever you are. <laughs> I don't care if you're purple, yellow, orange. <laughs> Finances put a strain on a lot of us and it can bring stress, stress into a relationship. And my best advice is always try to uh, be like, you know what? Even if you're not feeling happy, just fake it. Fake it. Because the more you fake it, the quicker things get uh, get by without like uh, turmoil. The You know, so like if you're stressed out about your finances and you have a family like I do, because obviously everybody's hurting, especially if you're trying to buy a dozen eggs right now. <laughs> <laughs> just try to be happy. I mean, obviously you have to address the elephant in the room, the finances, but you know, like just try to go along most all your days with the best positive attitude. And trust me, things will get better and God loves you and he will have you in the palm of his hands. Just remember to keep him centered and keep yourself grounded. Uh, I love you guys. Let's go ahead and just roll on over to the quote of the day. Please give this video a thumbs up and hit that little subscribe button. I'm Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.